What do you mean, darling? We don't do themes here. Hey guys, it's Alex Q, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of Shady Bartender. In this video, I'm going to be making you a delicious martini, but not just any martini, a Snapchat Snap Crap Martini. I'm going to be letting you guys know what's a good Snapchat and what's a terrible one while making you a delicious Danmunji Martini. I'm pretty sure everyone has Snapchat or has heard of Snapchat. It's popular and is also getting popularly reamed right now due to a tweet that I won't name or I will name and plaster right here and point fingers. Let's add an arrow, another arrow. Just saying, I'm not mad about it or anything. But this is not about Snapchat per se. This is about people who actually use Snapchat. The do's and don'ts of Snapchat, if you will. What makes a good Snapchat? What makes a terrible Snapchat? But of course, since this is the shady bartender, the shady bartender, I will be telling you what not to do when using Snapchat. But first, before we get into that, let's get into our ingredients, which is uh, not too many, but maybe a little bit hard to find because the star of the show is, of course, not themed at all, this yellow pickled radish, also known as dangmuji, which is a Korean a yellow pickled radish, as I already said. Just added the Korean in the last part. Sorry about that if you were confused at all. If you have yellow pickled radish, this is gonna be similar to like a pickled martini, but just a much better flavor, honestly, in my opinion. Let me know if you want me to teach you how to make this so you can make this martini. If not, go buy it in the store. So number one, danmuji. Number two, we're gonna be using gin, only because I do not have vodka, unfortunately. I think that I would rather be using vodka because it doesn't have a distinct flavor like gin does, but since we have gin only, this is what I'm using. I'm also gonna be using a vermouth. This is a sweet vermouth. I have a shaker and I have ice. This is gonna be a very simple recipe, but at the same time, so good. So first things first, before we even start adding ingredients into our drink, let's just talk about people who use Snapchat to drive. Don't use Snapchat while you're driving. This is the same thing, if not worse than texting and driving, because you're using one hand to record a video and not even a good video. These are the Snapchats that are being recorded while you're listening to your radio. Nobody wants to look at your radio in your car while you're driving. First of all, anxiety. I have this problem immediately when I see one of these things. First of all, it's not interesting. Yes, I've heard this music before. Yes, it is on the radio. Maybe you have this CD, but it's not that interesting for you to be Snapchatting. We all have radios. We all have music. Let's save it. Let's just not. It's not a good thing. No one wants to see it. It's quite boring. So let's get our drinks together. Uh, mix and make sure, make sure. Let's mix that together. I'm going to add the gin, and I'm not measuring, as you guys well know. Just eyeball it per your taste. Then I'm gonna add some vermouth. It's gonna be much less than the gin because I wanna actually keep the clear-ish type tint. So a few splashes of vermouth will do. And then for aesthetics, mm, that is, where's my chopsticks? Oh my God, I'm prepared for this. Here's another big no-no for Snapchat, for me at least, is if you don't use Snapchat all day and you finally decide to use it like, you know, towards the end of the night and it's just a random picture of Nothing, no words involved, no sound, it's just a just a picture. Oh my god, girl. It's called a Snapchat story. Honestly, you could just go without snapping anything at all because it's not even worth your time. I love, love, love. This is literally my favorite pickle right now. It's so good. Hold on. Give me a second. It has such a sweet taste, but also super, super tangy and you keep this refrigerated so it's like cold and yummy. I love it. So we're actually gonna take the juice of it and pour it into this shaker. Don't spill it. This is gold juice. Ooh, yes. That's too much. <laughs> so now we're just gonna give this a good shake. the frost create on here because we're not going to be adding ice to our martini because it's supposed to be nice, delicious, and dry. Before we pour it in, we're going to take some of this danmuji and put it 
as a garnish on our cup. Another thing that I'm really not into when it comes to Snapchat is, for one, taking random ass pictures of people that, you know, we don't know. So if you like take a picture of somebody and you're not even in the picture, what exactly is the point of that? People signed up to like watch you or see you. Like that's completely up to you. Do you girl, but at the same time, I just skip right over those things. It's so useless to me. So now that we've created our a super fancy aesthetic here, we're gonna top that right off into our glass. Look how cute that is. It's almost like we know what we're doing. The only thing that's left is we need to pour this bad boy into this cup. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to make this forever. I hope the gin doesn't ruin it. Cross your fingers. Oh my god, yes. This looks really good. What the f I'm not gonna just talk crap about everybody using Snapchat and you know how horrible they are at doing it. The only reason why I know that I don't like these things is because I've seen other people do these things and I'm like, oh, I should probably stop doing those things. The main one that I feel like that I am at least uh, guilty of is lip syncing for my life on Snapchat. Unless it's like short and sweet and is like somewhat like a subtweet. You're just getting your point across because you know that person's gonna actually see it. I wouldn't spend too much time lip syncing. Why? I don't wanna watch this. It's so cringy, but I can honestly say the only time that I actually do it is when I am under the influence of a martini. I have at least that under my belt for like an excuse because I wouldn't do it sober. Anyway, we're gonna drink this. We're gonna love it. Hopefully, let's see what it tastes like. so good. It tastes exactly like this yellow pickled radish. The gin actually made it pretty good, especially combined with the vermouth, because it gives it a sweet taste. Personally, I would like it to be way more sour, so I would honestly maybe even skip the vermouth going forward, but it tastes so delicious. Why? What do you want? Do you see the cats? Do you want to visit me? Come meow? Come out. Come here. You guys haven't seen her in so long. Say hi, meow. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mew Mew. She needs attention right now. I hope you guys make this martini. If you do, let me know by using any of my social medias. I'll add them right here. If you guys really want me to make this yellow pickled radish, this Don Muji recipe, let me know and then I'll show you how to do it or at least I'll post a recipe because if you don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Why would I waste my time, you know? Just comment below if you want to see that video. Like, subscribe, show me a little bit of love. That'd be fantastic. I hope you guys check out my next video. I don't know what it is, but you know, you'll be there, baby. We'll see. <laughs> if you want, you can hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a video. Just remember you guys, your smile is infectious. Have a great day. Go ahead, Monk. Go down. Go down. Go. Go. Oh my god. Why are you such a troublemaker?